Hey YouTubers and welcome to Bevan's Bricks. I'm Daryl and today's video is the finished, well it was my Taco Bell, I'm changing it to Taco Brick. Um, I found these tiles at Brick Builders Pro, if I'm not mistaken is the name of the site. And the reason I decided to do that is there was a lot of controversy over how my original bell sign looked and I thought, you know what, these look really professional and look really good and I thought they would look great on my build. So I went ahead and decided to make it a Taco Brick instead of a Taco Bell, but it is still modeled after a modern Taco Bell. Anyway, though I settled on this location as its permanent spot, it is right here in front of my parking garage. Uh, but I went ahead and I made a small parking lot. Like I said, I made the sign out front. And I even went as far as making all the electrical light poles all the way around. Uh, and again, I match and matched those light poles to what you would find in an actual Taco Bell parking lot. Um, this is going to be its permanent location. I'm going to be doing some more extensions off to the side of other buildings, but this is where she's permanently staying. Uh, let me hop around to the other side of the table. As I originally stated when I first showed the original video of this, um, I still had a lot of exterior details to add. It wasn't a substantial amount of details, but I still did want to add some details. Uh, one of the main ones being, as you can see down in here, the drive through um, At some point I will probably replace that caution sign for the height with something else, but that was the closest caution height sign type of thing that would fit in that category anyway. Uh, and that's what I used that for. And then I also bought, again from Brick Builders Pro, these two... Uh, sign pieces for the exterior sign and then i mocked up my own sign to put those on and then that little tile you see on the front of what i'm calling my uh, speaker box for ordering that came out of a uh, lego superhero friends or uh anyway it was the dc superhero girl sets is what that particular little piece came out of and i thought it was a good representation of a sticker Anyway, again, uh, coming back around, that does go all the way through, and that uh, cautionary sign is the exact same height as the canopy that you see by the drive through window. And we will do a quick scan of the side of the building again here, and come around out to the front so that you can see that I have the sidewalk and some flowers. And then starting back from this side, I went ahead and made some nice... Uh, flower boxes, if you will. Uh, they got the plants, trees, flowers. And that's also what the taco brick drive through sign is in. And then I put the light poles in there. And then I also made sure I tiled the entire parking lot. Uh, and I even put the yellow signs or lines in there for the parking spots. Now that I have it done, I actually want to go back and change one of those parking spots to blue for a handicap spot. But I will do that in a later update. Some more of the details that you'll see that I added is I added two exhaust stacks and I also added a rooftop air conditioning unit. As with most small buildings like this, they do have air conditioning units on the roof of the building. Um, I'm pretty happy with how it turned out. I might end up making that air conditioning unit just a tad bit bigger though. Still not 100% positive on that. Anyway, now let's now that we've seen pretty much all the details of the outside, let's pan back a little bit. Um, that's one other thing that I didn't add yet, is I want to add a dumpster to the back of it, and that is what this is. These are just kind of set there as a temporary location, because I'm not sure what I'm going to pop in here next to it yet. Kind of thinking the Quickie Mart from the Lego Simpsons, but still kind of on the fence, so we'll see. Um, that was something else I did want to show, though. On the fence itself... I also got these really neat private property, no trespassing signs. I thought that would be a really cool touch as you don't want people to go out on the railroad tracks as the railroad tracks are right on the opposite side of the fence. Now that we've seen all the exterior details, I want to kind of take a little quick look. I think I've showed this all before, but I wanted to go inside and make another quick view of the inside. So let's slide that off there. Um, as I discussed before, those are the lights that are above the dining room tables in the dining area. 
There's no changes from the last video, if you watched my last video anyway. Uh, it's a simple seating area. I have two uh, booths. On the back of this booth, I do have a small uh, bench for the patrons to sit their trays on as they're going. I do have a small soda fountain there, and I have a menu. Unfortunately, once a building is built, it is very hard to get down in to see better. I need to get a much smaller camera like the GoPro, but uh, this is the cash register for the people working behind the counter. And as you know what, we'll open the side door here. That'll give you kind of a better view of the cash register. As you can see, I do have a soda fountain on the exterior and the inside for the people that are working the drive through windows. I will show these pictures again, but I do have uh, some pretty detailed images of the kitchen itself before the walls went up and the bathroom also. Like I said, it's kind of hard to see now that the walls are on the building. But stay tuned to the video and I will show them here just in just a second. I hope those pictures were good enough for you to be able to see the interior details once again. Um, again, that's pretty much all I wanted to discuss on the Taco Bell, now Taco Brick Mock. Um, something else I can point out, though, is that I've, now that I've solidified and I've made the decision that this is going to stay where it is at and it's its permanent home, I'm now going to be tiling this area over here, <clears throat> and I do have an idea of what I'm putting there. And then over here... Um, as I previously stated in one of my videos, I am going to be putting in a park. Um, still not sure of the size yet, so, but I have been clearing the table out. And then over here, I have a few different ideas for a building where these two buildings are standing are probably going to go. So you're going to be seeing a, a lot more uh, city updates here real soon in the aspect of I've made a lot of big improvements. Um, something else I thought was really cool. I got two different billboard signs, uh, so I've placed that billboard sign on the side of the uh, parking garage. And then I also purchased this one, which says, Smile, Everything is Awesome, which is a reference to the Lego movie. And I'm probably going to be placing it on whatever building I place in this location. Anyway, as always, uh, I thank you for coming to Bevan's Bricks. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed this mock. Uh, I hope you keep coming back to see more. Don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share below, and we will see you next time on Bevan's Bricks.